out for a bit, right? We've been doing this. Um, I think we're well at the halfway point today. I am wanting to tell you about this thing that I absolutely have to have in my life. Now it's not my red lipstick or my mascara or a bunch of dangling earrings. It is really about development. I love to learn and I love to continually think about things outside the box. One of my favorite things about having been doing this for a minute, right? We've been, I've been, I've been in business for a little second, a hot second, um, is that I'm getting to hear from clients that I worked with 15 years ago um, and they're sending me notes or following up or checking in and um, they're saying, hey, do you remember that book we read together or do you remember that thing you recommended or here's the worksheet that I found that you sent me 15 years ago. And so it's really fun to look back and to think about all the things that I've tried to, to take on as part of my professional and personal development. So I'm wondering about you, right? What are the, some of the things that you've done? What are some of the things that you've been so excited about in your professional and personal life that you, uh, that you took on, whether it was a course or maybe it was some sort of, uh, some sort of a, a class you took, maybe it was a book you read, or maybe you worked with a coach at some point and they really supported you in, in your growth and your development. So I think that um, to, to develop yourself is to actively stay engaged with who you are. Um, and I have um, an older daughter who's actually on the other side of this camera. Um, it almost, it's 99% of the time, she's, this, she's the one on the other side of the camera uh, when I'm doing these videos. Um, and I'm reminded of um, my father. I'm reminded of who he was uh, in my life and uh, he never met my daughter, but he was a chemist and he was an adventurer, a great storyteller, and he was also a photographer. And I remember him with his old film camera. He would take photos, um, we would go on adventures, we would go and explore. And then I remember he would take me into his dark room and I would, I would, sit, I would have to sit very still and and very quietly um, somehow my um, being quiet impacted how the film was being developed I think he just wanted me to be quiet for a moment um, but I remember the smell the scent of the developer and I remember how he would take um, the, the, the paper and he would dunk it into these uh, trays of liquid and he would and, uh, and he would let me peek into this tray and I would see, like magic, the photo literally coming to life, the image coming to life on this paper. And it just was like magic. And it, w it reminds me of personal and professional development. And I'm looking at my daughter on the other side of, of this camera, of this lens, and she's a photographer, and that is her passion. Um, and that's what she wants to do with her life. And I'm thinking about this gift that was passed on to her uh, of being able to see things and develop things and bring out things. And I'm thinking about you and me, those of us who maybe aren't into photography, that you would imagine your own development being this evolution. It's there. Whatever you're developing, that it's already within you and that as you're going through these processes, it comes out and comes alive and it feels like magic, but it's not. It's a process and a natural evolution. So personal and professional development is bringing forth what already is within you. Um, I'm remembering uh, a few years ago, um, I was introduced to the Gallup Strength Finder. I, I was in this phase of my life and my business at the time. My team was growing. We were taking on larger teams in the company that we were working with. And I felt it was very important to learn more about strength-based leadership, strength-based guiding. And I thought, you know, I'm going to take this on. I'm going to learn about this. And it's going to make me a better um, advisor and facilitator of the teams that I get to work with. And what it did is it actually kind of brought out, just like that photo paper in the solution was 
was was processing out the image that was taken. This strength finder uh, conversation brought out some details, some strengths within myself and my my team internally. I remember doing the strength finder analysis with my children um, and being able to see how they are thinking differently from me, how they're strength based differently, and therefore they're seeing the world differently. They have different needs, um, and they and they see themselves accomplished very differently um, than I see myself. So their definition of success is very different than mine. So it was it was this professional and personal development that brought things out and 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 grew things felt like totally new, but there were things that were already existing that it clarified. So whenever you are thinking of development, I, I looked at the definition because it's a great word. It's a specified state of growth or advancement. It's a newness and a refinement. So think about how can you um, engage your growth? How can you advance and refine yourself in your life personally and professionally? One of the things that I think is so cool at this time, and it's happening um, in it, you know, in really kind of a neat way, it's, it's a, such a lovely outcome of all this chaos in us, is that we are becoming more aware of the necessity of aligning our personal and professional lives because they've, they've been blended together. They've kind of overlapped in ways that they've never overlapped before. And so that your personal development is directly impacting your professional development and vice versa. What I'm remembering when I'm, when I'm thinking of my father and what I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of my daughter, that effort, that effort of capturing a photo, taking a chance of seeing something and going for something, just uniquely you, um, and going into the dark room, right? Don't even get me started on that piece of metaphor, but going into the dark room and developing this film out and then exposing it on the photo paper and then, you know, swooshing it through that tray of chemicals and liquids, the developer itself, right? swishing it through and bringing forth, seeing as that image comes to life. You are worth the effort you need to put in to be developed, for yourself to be, to be bringing forth things that are already wanting to come forward. I think it's so critically important for business professionals, for people in any kind of a capacity that they are leading themselves or others. So any parent, any caretaker, any husband, wife, partner, a teacher, anybody who is in contact with other people, which is all of us, even if we are, especially as we are separated and six feet apart from each other, that you would engage and take that chance and put forth the effort of developing yourself and bringing out the gifts and the, the strengths and the, and the passions and, the, and that sort of like drive that you have within you, that beauty, um, and, and that is uniquely you. So, as much as I could just talk about this for hours on end with you, and I would love to hear your thoughts on what has developed you, what has supported you in your growth, how have you engaged that, and what does that look like for you? I would love to hear your thoughts because I live for your feedback. I live to have this conversation. I think the more people acknowledge that we are all just a, a, an evolution of ourselves and a growth and, and that we're called forward to grow and that we're called forward to refine and to advance and to learn from the things that have been challenging, the more of us do that, the, the more aligned, the more authentic, the more integrous we all are going to be with one another. Incidentally, in Strength Finder, there's this term that I learned as being part of that, um, that teaching or that um, program, and it's called interdependence. Um, flies squarely in the face of codependence. And for us to be more interdependent with one another means that we are more aware of who we are, more respectful of one another, and that we are all aiming toward a common, not the same, but a common outcome for ourselves, our communities, and our planet. I think that's super exciting. Thank you for listening.